excited, a little nervous, but, but happy. Christian just hit the fashion scene like a splash of tonic. It all came naturally. It wasn't like, what are other people doing? Or what are the magazines looking for? It was very much about, here's what I'm about. I hope you like it. It was astonishing to see so much technical virtuosity in someone so young. I knew I was onto something good. I was like, you know what? This, this is right. This can become a big brand. I know it. We have something real. We just have to figure out how to make money. Stores would buy what they knew they could sell because the price points were high, but they wouldn't reorder. How many $1,100 dresses or $1,800 jackets can we sell? And those were the cheap ones. And it's hard when you're high profile and then next thing you know you're out of business. And it happened very suddenly. I'm gonna take Goss Girl to a whole new level and create New York gangs of oh, girls. Great, great. Pretty sure I'm gonna open with this group, the 315s. This will be a great modern cocktail. It's very well thought out, very thorough. The lace-ups are like the varsity sport badass chicks. But from what I can tell from the sketches and the swatches, it's going to be something that will have its own distinctive look, which is important in this market because there it is so saturated. I saw that she was gravitating toward you know, the things that were a bit more grown up and cleaner and more sophisticated. And a light went on, I was like, uh -huh, all right, you know, that's important information. And what I took away from this was make sure every group looks like the customer who can afford to pay for it. When he has more samples ready, we'll come back and take a look and see if it looks right for Saks Fifth Avenue. I don't mind shortening it if yeah, you think it's what, look what I'm it's breaking. Now. Yeah, exactly. right. Give me back at least a quarter. Not too much though, right? Because we don't want to lose. But yeah, we can definitely shorten that a bit. We had to make it in New York, so it costs a lot of money. Yeah, right. I think that's going to be the criticism of this. They're going to be like, well, since we haven't seen a collection from Christian in ten years, we might as well see all of them at once. All the ten years that we missed. <laughs> It's exhilarating to like see your vision articulated, you know? It's the retail turnout here is, is really wonderful. All the people we want to be here are here. I'm happy. It looked good from my perspective. It said what I wanted it to say. It was fun. We're going to do our market appointments this week and next week and, uh, you know, hopefully get back into the great stores we started with in the 90s and be profitable this time.